Hello, my name is Rachel Windsor Knott of My Animal Matters. I'm a holistic animal therapist specialising in something I call botanical self healing, which is also known as zoopharmacognosy. Basically, I work with an animal's innate ability to self medicate on plant medicine. I facilitate them back to wellness, emotional and physical. I want to talk to you about cats and essential oils, which is a greatly discussed topic. Um, very simply put, cats lack some of the enzymes needed that are essential in breaking down essential oils in the liver. Which means that if cats are exposed to essential oils, either through a diffuser or an oil burner or someone applies them topically, don't do that, um, then they potentially, it's a toxin, the, the cat is unable to break them down and potentially can kill them. So. What I'm not going to do is tell you which essential oils are okay for cats and which essential oils aren't. And the reason I'm not going to do that is because every cat is completely unique. They have their own unique physiological makeup. So what is okay for one cat may not be okay for another cat, depending on their health, their life experiences, their cellular makeup. So the key to cats and essential oils is recognizing that cats have the ability to self-medicate and also respecting essential oils. Essential oils are concentrated plant chemicals. They contain anything between 100 and 300 different plant chemicals. Um, cats primarily work with essential oils via inhalation. So the best way to work with cats and essential oils, first of all, is to work with someone who is experienced and uh, practiced with working with cats and essential oils via self-selection. So the, the important thing is to offer the cat an essential oil, not to impose it on them. And by diffusing them in the air, by using oil burners, you're not giving the cat a choice. The cat is not able to re remove themselves from that. The molecules are in the air, potentially landing on the coat, then they can lick them and then they've ingested them accidentally. So I would really strongly advocate you contact a practitioner that specialises in self-medication to learn if you are interested in working with your cats and essential oils because they, they can have a beautifully healing effect but when done in the right way it's really important you understand when your cat is saying yes and when your cat is saying no. So if I had cats, or I do have cats, anyone that has cats I would advise against using diffusers. I would advise against using these plugins that have essential oils, mostly synthetic essential oils in them, because they can't get away from them. They potentially are toxic. And even if it doesn't lead to death, it can lead to anxiety. They can get headaches. They can get nausea. It can have a, a, a long, slow damaging effect to their liver and their kidneys. So if you have animals in the home, recognize they can self-medicate, they are able to choose and respect essential oils. They aren't just lovely smelly things to make our home smell nice. They are potentially extremely toxic if not needed, but highly medicinal if needed. But the key is to understanding when they are saying yes and when they're saying no and giving them the opportunity to choose. Cats as a rule, uh, if presenters with an essential oil they don't need will very definitely move away but a lot of people don't understand that and may not give them the choice may close the door um, so essential oils and cats don't use anything that is diffusing the essential oil in the air simply if you want to work with them either contact a practitioner or have have the lid of an essential oil and just hold it do not move it towards your cat just hold it and observe what their response is a positive response is generally that they start to relax. So they may start yawning, uh, closing their eyes, licking their lips, uh, a little bit of grooming. Uh, and generally a no is they, is they move away. But this isn't black and white. Every cat will respond differently. So I, I really just want to stress the importance of knowing that they are potentially toxic if not given the choice and diffusing them means they're not given the choice. So if you want any more information, uh, you can go to my website, mineandmallmatters.co.uk. Thank you very much.